Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Marmoset, and we are today playing City Skylines with the After Dark expansion. And we're back in the metropolis of Animania, and we're building our box, our big box. Schrodinger's cat box? Is it just the cat box in the center of the city? It's a name. Tell me what you think in the comments. I'll be uh, finishing up this batch of recording. All I'll do is I'll name it when I start the next batch of recording based on the comments you've got. So please leave comments so I can know what you're thinking about an animal-themed name for this section of our city. So we're going to start zoning. Um, I am going to probably look at putting some power in, but we'll do that after the zoning. First things first, water. Don't want to get in a position where we're out of water. So the usual thing of the 440. And I'm just going to go pump this back and forth as quickly as we can. Make sure we've got a nice and solid water supply. Okay, done. Water. Um, while I'm here, I do note that we are beginning to run a little low on water supplies. So I'm going to put a couple more in. Where is it we are dumping our poo these days? Ah, we're dumping it over here. That's circulating back that way a bit, which is kind of disappointing. Is there anywhere else that I could dump shit <laughs> that won't cause us water fur problems? See, this is the river here is just basically coming down and being diverted into my drinking water supply. The overall trend for water flow is that way. And heading that way. Okay. Well, let's tag a couple in over here. Not power? Yeah, you do. Then you just pollute that waterway a bit more, and you can pollute that white waterway a bit more. I don't really mind. Just be poopy elsewhere. That's wind turbine just powering that up a little bit. How are we doing for power? Oh, plenty, thanks to our nuclear power plant. Good, good. All right, zoning. I think we've gone over everything else. Yep. What type of buildings do we want? Well, we want some high density commercial. Now I'm going to put these. <clears throat> as close to the motorway as possible so that the trucks supporting and delivering them don't feel, need to go all the way in and gum up the rest of the building work so you also don't care about noise too much so you can have the motorway section and then we'll probably also so let's fill in the top half Of this we will make that the middle section rising between these two bits and then to finish up painting along here and along that end and up to here the offices. These will fill in kind of slowly because we don't have a lot of industrial demand right now. And the remainder of it, all our nice shoreside properties, will be dense residential. Now, because we do have dense residential, we are going to need schools. So we're going to want a pair of those each we'll move you opposite the park actually just double check I don't need yeah I do need to repaint that section there yeah I don't know I'm not necessarily too concerned about that being yeah it's in a business district so there's not a lot of point to it There we go. I uh, just need to double check if I have any more 
repainting to do. Yeah, there's those gaps made by schools as we move them. Okay, so yeah, you can be a businessy place. You can be low density commercial. Low density commercial. Low density commercial in those areas. Because so we do need just a little bit of commercial on this side to support. These people need to do some shopping, short and simple. And that should help that lot there. Okay, so that's the zoning in. We need to connect this up to our power grid. Unfortunately, we've got people over here with power. Get it across the railway line. And then we are just going to run that cross into there for now. Now, the huge number of parks and other bits and pieces we've got in here should mean this all fills out pretty quickly. But in the short term, what we can do is grab some Japanese peace gardens. And use these essentially. Let's grab a sunken plaza in this case. There's little bridge points. Power. Those ones out in the corners are a bit too far away. I add some plaza there. Is that enough? Yes. Okay, so time go. Spent a lot of money building this. Wow, all the lights coming on. Our emergency service, various vehicles making their way on. Who are you? Add to hers. I don't know where you're going. All the way to the Otterways. They don't localize very much, do they? There's some of the commercials coming in. Some of the buildings are coming in. You guys over here are going to have amazing views of all the dead warning signs. Maybe a few buildings are going to lack power. Really? Managed to miss that for a bit. Here come the buses. I really don't like that you're turning right there. I'm really not meant to be doing so. No rights, just straight on. Not meant to be turning right there. Stop trying to turn right there. I don't care where you're trying to go. Built this bloody roundabout for a reason. Bloody well use it. I'll sort of that later when they stop worrying about it too much. All right, so it's filling up. It's growing bit by bit. I mean, this demand thing, low demand. I reckon is partially, um. Well, an exponential scale, because there are times when it's like, no, 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 it's entirely fine that it's shaped like this. It's like, well, oh. I'm pretty convinced it's not. I'm pretty convinced that what you're telling me is an excessive demand. Isn't actually a massive demand. Is that close enough? Yes, it is. You're saying we've got a huge demand for residential. Well, I just built a vast amount of it, and you barely filled it in. So, oh. 
is what I say to that. Oh. Oh, sorry, just uh, playing around with the screen settings a bit there. Do we have any visitors yet? Tourists last week. 49 passengers. There are a few people coming in, I suppose. It's going to take a while for them to get here. Stops vehicles and passengers and all the rest of it. Wow, you've got a lot of stops on Line 19. Well, that's one of the ones on... It's not on the Starfish Shore. Where is Line 19? Oh, it's the one that loops around the autoways. Fair enough. Well, it is faster, but you can see the game is really starting to begin to slow down now. There's an awful lot of dead people in this area. Do I not have death care, or do I do have death care? Yeah, I do have a crematorium over here, but apparently... guy in charge has decided, despite the fact that I have plenty of oh, incineration, more than twice the crematorium kind of availability, it just apparently takes a while. Where are you going? The company. Fortunately, you're just going over just over there, so it's not too bad, but sometimes you seem to get these death waves happen because you just get a traffic problem. You know, all hearses all end up stuck somewhere. Yeah, I've got a pretty massive death wave. And lack of uneducated workers. Fair enough. Well, plain. Alright, okay. Well, just kind of sat in our hands waiting. I don't really have much of a demand. We don't have a great deal of cash. So what we're going to do... What should we look at? What problems have we got? Well, how's the traffic over here? Nowhere near as bad as it was. Has the traffic over here? Nowhere near as bad as it was. Traffic's coming out of there okay. Yeah, I don't mind there being a traffic light there because there's a lot of people trying to move. And if you didn't have a traffic light, these guys would just get completely stuck. There's a little bit of a queue up there. Yeah, there's only two ways of getting out from there, so putting a third lane in wouldn't necessarily help. Yeah, I'm reasonably happy with how it's going. Do I have death care over here? No. I do not have death care over here. Okay. Are those on the edges? I have. So that might be where my hearses are ending up. I've got a load of dead people over in this industrial district, because, you know, industrial accidents, and my hearses can't get to them. So... Let's increase our capacity even more. And spaff out a load of hearses. We'll then go and deal with the problems in that area. Alright, well, we have a death wave going on. Let's make sure we've got... A suitable amount of death care available. I do like the graveyards, and people do seem to like them in of themselves. Also, because this is one enormous build in one go, <clears throat> if I've got under provision in an area, when you get a death wave come, it does tend to kick you pretty hard. The dead will keep piling up. Still, the hearse, at least one hearse going past in there. So, yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of buildings out there, so I'm not going to immediately panic. Oh, train arriving. Train arriving. Yay, a load of passengers. 
Where are you going? Student University. Multimedia Center. There are a few people using my buses. You're complaining about not enough workers. Okay, well, there's plenty of residential demand. Um, have I over-educated my people? There's a city statistics button here somewhere. Population changes, you can see it's generally going up. It's trickling down a bit because we've got a death wave going on. Education levels. I mean, generally people are pretty educated. There's a education button over here. So these stupid people, so people when they move into your city are stupid. More than enough capacity for all of these things. So we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, we're still making money. Population's ticking back up now. Is yeah, we just got a death wave. <laughs> it's just one of those things where you just get enough. Well, there we did have a massive traffic problem a couple of episodes ago. So I suspect it's simply the fact that hearses don't. The emergency service and all the services guys don't prioritize in the same way that like, all right, this is they don't go. This is the thing that's nearest to me, and I will do the nearest ones first. So when you build, like, the new one we put over here, the hearses that are in use from this aren't necessarily going anywhere sensible. There's a high chance that they've decided, well, there's a death thing over here. So they're going from here all the way to over here, despite the fact that they could easily solve all the dead people who are nearby that much quicker. Mm. You know, this, this, this guy is at least going to pick up that corpse. Ah, huh, I'd never noticed that animation before. <laughs> Did indeed go and pick the corpse up. Neptune Media Store. Yeah, so you're going all the way over here. Yeah, so we've got a death wave, but the population is still increasing. We've got a beautiful new city centre. I love the view of this. This is probably actually going to be a screenshot. There we go. Printing screens. Grand. Right. Okay, so we've got a lot of people Trying to get in, okay. Do, 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 do. Is that backing up too much? Not too badly. I would probably prefer that if it was two lane road, just to split them up just a little bit more. Don't think to me. Yeah, I don't need to upgrade that one because that's an out. So most of you are going left, which is fine. I'm expecting you to be distributing yourselves amongst the network and the people. How are you doing? Are you? Education progress is what's holding you back, so I think over time we'll see an awful lot of these ding and be very happy. Passenger service last week. One. Wow. So that's quite an expensive building. But not a lot, but it is the centre of my city, and I am going to have a bus station in the centre of my city. All my taxis are apparently very busy. So you appear to be working so far so good. Yeah, yeah, let's fix that. That is a known problem. Let's be 
people having... Just a little bit, but alright, let's go from that end. And then... Okay, yep. We'll have the bit that whoops. The bit that joins from in here. That side, a bit that comes off six meters twelve. You will find a way of sorting your set out. This goes from that side. Basically, I suspect we're going to have an awful lot of people just trucks coming on here. What did we get to here? And by avoiding getting that crossover there, we can just help a little bit. Apparently I also reduced the size of this. When I wasn't paying attention. Very much coming out of the fact that the solution we have over here with a dedicated set of interchanges rather than a roundabout does appear to just work that much better. Because with a roundabout you just end up with people tripping over each other so much. We need a two lane road. It comes out to here. We need a one lane road. Joints are there. One lane road. You dive under. Fine. Under we go. No. I will be going out. This side. I think that's a shorter route. We'll find out. Immediate snarl there. No immediate snarls here. A little bit of traffic queue up here. Given that that is two lanes into two lanes, we could experiment with the four lane highway. People are using so it's two lanes into three lanes into three lanes. Well, yeah, all right, let's do it. Let's go mad. Let's finish the episode on a mad note. We will go with a six lane highway. Six lane or five? That's five. Even higher. There's a six lane. There we go. That's the largest bit of highway real estate I possibly got. So you've got a lot of space to distribute yourself so you're in exactly the right lane that you want. And they're doing it. The parking's not too bad, then. Eh? That little stretch of road will take, suck up all of that. Now, we, to finish off the episode, let's think about can we prune some of our power lines? I don't think you necessarily need to go quite that close. 
Power lines, power lines, power lines. So we do have some zoning holes, apparently. And yeah, I am happy with that. Oh, not entirely. Giving the gaps. Giving the gaps. So while I do some painting of trees to make this place just that little bit prettier. Trees with leaves, trees with leaves. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines, where we have finally finished, after a few episodes of work, our new city centre. Isn't it pretty? I'm quite pleased with it. Hopefully, all well, we can see it right now, we are ticking up at a rate of 334 citizens a tick. 65 citizens is the final mark, which will allow us to unlock this final extra square over here. And then basically we'll have unlocked everything we can possibly unlock. So the rest of the session will basically be a case of seeing how much we can do to fill in the remainder of our gaps. Now, everything basically in this third of it is full. We've got a nice big industrial centre here. I'm thinking and planning on putting... <clears throat> a, we've already got woods in here. Do we have any other natural resources we can exploit? There's a bit more oil. There's some bits of oil left lying around over there. Oil over there I can't reach. Or over there I can't reach. Or down there I can't reach. So we are probably going to see how the industrial demand takes, but we are probably going to be filling in. Let's turn that on. That with trees. This will be filled in with a, a residential district. This is probably going to be another residential district. Industry probably up here. And then little bits of commercial as and when now. I've learned previous lessons. If you have too much heavy density, heavy high density commercial in an area, it just goes horribly wrong. It just goes really badly wrong. So well, I might connect this section up with here and then put some kind of road connection over there. But overall, I'm pretty happy with our new district. Now it's suited to be treed. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines Afternoon. Afternoon? After dark, not afternoon. After dark. We're in the city, metropolis of Animalia. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And remember to like and subscribe.